has come to our family. You remember our venerable house? Opulent and imperial, gazing proudly from its stoic perch above the moor. I lived all my years in that ancient, rumor-shadowed manor, fattened by decadence and luxury. And yet I began to tire of conventional extravagance. Singular unsettling tales suggested the mansion itself was a gateway to some fabulous and unnameable power. With relic and ritual, I bent every effort towards the excavation and recovery of those long buried secrets, exhausting what remained of our family fortune on swarthy workmen and sturdy shovels. At last, in the salt-soaked crags beneath the lowest foundations, we unearthed that damnable portal of antediluvian evil. Our every step unsettled the ancient earth, but we were in a realm of death and madness. In the end, I alone fled laughing and wailing through those blackened arcades of antiquity, until consciousness failed me. You remember our venerable house, opulent and imperial. It is a festering abomination. I beg you, return home, claim your birthright, and deliver our family from the ravenous clutching shadows. of the darkest dungeon. All right, note to self. Uh, do not open the ancient eldritch evil door. Darkest dungeon is about making the most of a bad situation. Quests will fail or must be abandoned. Heroes will die, and when they die, they stay dead. Progress autosaves constantly, so actions are permanent. The game expects a lot out of you. How far will you push your adventurers? How much are you willing to risk in your quest to restore the hamlet? What will you sacrifice to save the life of your favorite hero? Thankfully, there are always fresh souls arriving on the stagecoach, seeking both adventure and fame in the shadow of the... Darkest Dungeon. All right, let's enter the Darkest Dungeon. Uh, I've never played this before. I don't even, uh, I haven't even seen it played before. I have no idea what I'm getting into. Click the letter to begin. Uh, you may enable multiple DLCs at once for any estate. Are these all different estates? I did get all the DLCs, by the way. So we have the Crimson uh, Court, uh, the Districts, Flagellant, Shieldbreaker, and Color of Madness. I have no idea what any of this means, but yeah, let's uh, let's enable them. Is this your this is your first estate? The Crimson Court increases the complexity and pressure of the campaign. It is recommended for uh, experienced players. So let's take that one off, having no experience at all. Um, let's uh. It's called Darkest Dungeon. We'll play the Darkest Dungeon. All right. You will arrive along the old road. It winds with a troubling, serpent-like suggestion through the corrupted countryside. Leading only, I fear, to ever more tenebrous places. There is a sickness in the ancient, pitted cobbles of the old road. And on its writhing path, you will face viciousness, violence, 
and perhaps other damnably transcendent terrors. So steel yourself, and remember there can be no bravery without madness. The old road <laughs> will take you to hell, but in that gaping abyss, we will find our redemption. I just gotta say, tenebrous, great word. I gotta use that more in common parlance. Okay, with the stagecoach destroyed and the caretaker gone, you will have to make the journey to the hamlet on foot. So it's loading. All right, find your way to the hamlet. All right, map navigation. You're currently in a room. To move forth, click on another room on the map display. Uh, this will take you to the connecting hallway. Okay. Uh, where is the map display? Oh, is this the map display? I feel stupid now. I thought it was going to actually be like the kind of display that we actually saw. So what is this? I guess the tutorial will tell me. I'll just wait and find out. Select. Okay. Oh, I see. That is the map. Okay. So I can say move to that room. Riggins have run up these lanes. Keep to the side path. The hamlet is just ahead. All right. D moves forward, A moves back. Or I can click ahead and behind. Oh. Dispatch this thug in brutal fashion that all may hear of your arrival. All right, your wish is my command. It's turn-based contact. Click a skill icon and click the high on a highlighted target. If you can't select a particular skill, the hero needs to be in a different spot or there are no uh, valid targets. So I've got open vein, grape shot blast. This, and this is for the guy in the back. Let's try a grape shot blast on this guy. Okay. Hit him for two, give him a bit of a debuff. I can smite him. Zealously accuse him, stunningly hit him, uh, or okay. Let's uh, let's try a little smite. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. <laughs> All right, loot. Each item, if you take it, will occupy a space in your inventory. Mouse over items to show details about them. It works in your inventory too. So gold, absolutely going to take that. Some food, yes, of course, we'll take that. And then we'll continue on. Are there more brigands for us to dispatch? Interactive objects, uh, click or press W. Check out the tent. Someone's camped here recently. So check inside. Ooh, valuables inside. Some reward for a task well performed. Why thank you, disembodied voice. Leave nothing unchecked. There is much to be found in forgotten places. Let's go, he says. Okay, and now do I have to map out? An ambush. Send these vermin a message. The rightful owner has returned, and their kind is no longer welcome. Uh, okay. Well, let's see. This guy has got 35 versus 12 HP. He's probably going to hit uh, quite a lot. Although he's actually a little easier to hit. Although he's got a lot of, lot of uh, HP. Um, can Grape Shot or... Let's try the Dismiss on the dude up front. A mere six, but bleeding debuff. I like that. Ouch. He shoots me. Um. Ow. But wait, do I not get a chance? Okay, I don't understand how my initiative is supposed to work here. Let's, uh... Let's try the stunning blow. See if we can get this guy to not attack next time around. Ah, uh, he resisted it. The jerk. Okay. So I have a tracking shot. Um, it is 95 accuracy, minus 80, it bypasses stealth. So 
So I don't think I like that. Can I could do a grape shot blast? I don't. It didn't do a lot of. It doesn't tell me like how much, how many hit points I should expect out of any of these. Let's try the open vein again on uh, Massive Man here. So that was for nine. I did like that. And now I can go on him again. I think another stunning blow as we just bang on him. All right, rain of whips. That sounds bad. Ah! The bleeding, not so great. And blanket fire. Um, do things in my inventory no, it doesn't give me any healing or anything like that, so... Let's try it one more time. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Alright, monsters die and leave corpses, which act as temporary obstacles and will eventually go away on their own. You can attack corpses to destroy them faster, but often a better approach is to use range skills, push-pull skills... Um, and even corpse clearing special skills some heroes possess. Monsters killed with bl bleed, blight, or crits leave no corpses. So his corpse is still in the way, it seems. Can I stun this guy? I can't. Why is that? Does it tell me? Too far away? Can I zealously accuse him? No. I can move... I don't understand the moving bit. I can't smite him. Uh, I don't, yeah, I'm a little bit confused about what I'm supposed to do here. Is it because the corpse is in the way? I have to attack the corpse? That feels like a waste. Oh, now he moved forward. Okay. Now he's... But he didn't get a chance to fire at me again, which I like. So I got him down by half of his HP and a bit of bleeding. Uh, rushed shot. He's in a bit of a hurry, I take it. And there'll be no blood left for the leeches, says Decimated. I. Okay. A lot a of gold. Trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. Um, I will take that. So I've got a crest. A sigil of honor earned by family actions long since past, a bunch of dough and medicinal herbs. After you've completed the requirements of a quest, you have the option to return to town at any time. Just click the crest. You don't need to return to the starting room of the dungeon to exit. Okay. So that's what the crest does? And my quest is com I didn't even know I didn't even know I was on a quest at this point. Uh, there's hold it. Um, bandit's trap chest. Eh. It's trapped. I resisted the trap. Now can I get the stuff inside of it? Hello? Nothing inside of it. Okay. Um Oh, and that was the entire map. I see. So, basically, the quest was get to town. We got to town. So, now I can just uh, select a des destination room. Oh, I, okay. I was being dumb. I click up, up on the upper left-hand corner where it said quest complete. All right. I got myself four heirlooms. Uh, some gold and other gizmos. Okay, old road worked. Let's uh, see what's next for us. To resolve XP. I don't know what that means. Um, Reynald and Dismas. Um, wield or Veald or Veald Adventurer, whatever that is. 20% uh, less stress, I guess. And I didn't get anything over here. So we go back to town. Short on gold, sell unwanted trinkets Welcome directly home, from your inventory. Such as it is. This squalid hamlet, these corrupted lands, they are yours now. And you are bound to them. Oh good. Oh good. Um 
Yeah, so what can we do? Week one, the ruins has been unlocked. Has been? Have been? The quest goals, complete your first foray into the ruins, defeat the apprentice necromancer. Okay, oh, are these different quests or all in one quest? Yeah, this has got to be different goals. So this is the caretaker, apparently. Um, get help where you may. H will give you the contextual help controls. That looks handy. Uh, hold shift to sell trinkets, of which I have none. Um, glossary, which will explain what all the different uh, word, all the different words mean. And that's like uh, whatever uh, system menu. We've got busts, which upgrade town buildings, portraits upgrade town buildings, deeds upgrade town buildings, crests, okay, and shards, which are for things not quite of this world, and trade heirlooms. Okay, the, how many? I have, I have, whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I don't, I don't know what heirlooms are, so I'm a little bit worried about, oh, I see, it's like a currency. So, like, a certain number of heirlooms is worth a portrait, a certain number, then are worth deeds. Okay, I think, I think I understand. All right. Uh, graveyard views fallen heroes. Most will end up here, covered in the poisoned earth awaiting merciful oblivion. I'm gonna call you the optimist, sir. Um, stagecoach. Women and men, soldiers and outlaws, fools and corpses. All will find their way to us now that the road is clear. Okay, so I can drag and drop these guys into my roster? This is my roster here? Okay. I like that. Okay, so there's um, Verdun, the Seeker Plague Doctor, and Duhamel, uh, Seeker Vestal. A sister of battle, pious and unrelenting. Works for me. And Verdun. What better laboratory than the blood-soaked battlefield? Uh, that's what I always say, too. All right, upgrade the stagecoach network. While you're here, spend some of your starting heirlooms on upgrading the stagecoach network. This will increase the number of heroes available here in the future. So click on the plus symbol on the left and then click the upgrade. This plus? Yes. So... Okay, I click on this. It's going to cost three... Um, three scrolls and four shields crests and that will increase the number of available heroes to three let's do that word is traveling ambition is stirring in distant cities we can use this okay there's also a hero barracks and ex um pre i can't do experience recruits whatever that is uh but okay that's nice good good uh, let's see, what else can I check out around here? There's the Ancestors Memoirs. Embark. There isn't much more you can do in town right now. It's time to embark on a quest. Uh, click on the Embark button at the bottom of the screen. I will. I just want to check out the other places first. So, the Memoirs. In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. So, does this, I, does this just replay the, um, I wonder if these just replay the cutscenes. Let's just check it out real quick. Yep, it's exactly what it does. I remember that. I'm not going to watch it all through there, but that's good. So, the Ancestor's Path is next. And there's the Color of Madness and the Darkest Dungeon. Okay. There's lots left to happen. And then the Nomad Wagon, I can shop for... Trinkets and charms gathered from all the forgotten corners of the earth. Yeah. You keep interrupting me, Optimist. That kind of bugs me a bit. What do we got? A Feather Crystal, which gives some good buffs, but um, I can't afford it. And a Move Stone, which impre 
increases the move skill chance. So I still haven't learned like the mechanics of this at all. Um, so I'll have to figure that out. It is very, very kind of D&D-like, the way the turn-based combat works, but I'm really digging it, despite the the kind of JRGP... I got the letter wrong, you know what I mean, uh, style of like everyone's just up in a line. I'm still... I, I love the vibe on this. It's uh, really creepy. So we could upgrade the wagon size, which increases the number of trinkets available. And we could also reduce Rarities and curios. Sold at a profit, of course. Yeah, of course. We're not gonna like expect them for free. And I could reduce the cost by 10% too, but I'll hold off on that for the moment. And then the jeweler, the comet's crash has attracted an opportunist who specializes in otherworldly treasure. You can spend crystal shards earned at the farmstead here. So I guess I'll learn about these crystal char charms elsewhere. I'm wondering if this is maybe one of the um, one of the DLCs that kind of came with it. But well, hey, that is the uh, darkest dungeon. So learned a little bit of combat, did a little bit of fighting. I think what I'll do is I'll take a little bit of a break here, and then dismiss yearning for adventure, and Duhamel Verdun and our our bad selves Reynald will embark out into the darkest dungeon when we come back. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon.